Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Triple Play Baseball 2001 for some more wild and crazy extreme home run derby action. In the first episode, we got everything all set up and I promise I won't do 10 minutes worth of talking this time. <laughs> that was purely for setup purposes. We're going to be doing uh, just a full load of home run derby action today. So in the first one, we got everything all set up. We went to Cashman Field and did our very first installment of home run derby. And uh, we came out on top. Ken Griffey Jr. was able to pull off the win against uh, Chipper Jones. And so today we are moving on to one of my favorite stages in the whole thing. And we're going to go to the construction yard. So what we're going to do in this particular time around is we're going to have the classic battle of Mark McGuire versus Sammy Sosa. And I am going to take the route of Mark McGuire. This is <laughs> Oh boy. This is going to get pretty pretty wacky, man. I mean, these the, these two players this this particular year just went on an absolute tear if there ever was one. I remember watching a lot of this on ESPN. They like this was one of the pinnacles of baseball that I can remember. They were just like every time I'd come home from school and they'd be doing highlights of games, they'd always have like s totally separate segments uh, for, you know, Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire at the height of this home run chase to see who was going to take home the whole thing or if they were going to, you know, like beat Roger Maris's record and end up taking the, the home run crown and all that stuff. Dude, it was so wild. And I remember uh, when they ha when they competed against each other in the home run derby, and I think it was at Fenway when they did it, and it was just absolute chaos. I just remember, like, the amount... You could, you could cut the tension at the ballpark during that competition with a chainsaw dude it was just nuts it was it was walnuts it was brazil nuts it was peanuts it was all sorts of things man and so i'm really excited to be able to take part in this particular adaptation of it now and the reason why i went with uh went with these two batters is as it is actually more beneficial to be a right-handed batter for this level um it's oh oh damn there's there's way more targets to hit on the right uh, on the on the left side of the field, so that's why I went this way instead of uh, Ken Griffey Jr. There's definitely a lot of targets you can hit that are in right uh, right and center field, but there's definitely a higher level of them that are over on the left side. You can hit that that uh, jacuzzi pool there. You can hit the gong, which both of those are hittable with the other players. But there's all the targets in left field, and there's also that big glass building in the back uh, that you can I think you can break the windows if you hit it far enough and there's also the matter of the moving cars there's that uh, that lovely van back there uh, that has the target on top and I think you get a nice chunk of points if you can hit it I just don't know if I'm ever gonna hit it it's it's a really really hard one to hit there's actually two cars but it doesn't make it any easier <laughs> two cars two chains oh come on baby come on we got a chance for something. That's going to be a Dwight Gooden right there. <laughs> Baseball joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was cheap. Yeah, see, we're definitely going to have some some uh, better rounds to contend with here. Uh, Sammy Sos is not going to be having zero-point rounds like Chipper Jones had in that, uh, in that first little thing there. I really want to hit a car really bad. Because we got lucky with the bounce on the target there. That certainly helps. Yeah, this was. I think that um, this uh, this stage here, and and the living room obviously were the ones that I spent the most time with. Um, but I think I may have spent more time with this one, just because one of the things I always wanted to do most. I'll see if I can do. It. I'll push this one over. Oh damn it! I was gonna tr gonna try to push that one to right field. There's definitely a target up there that I've I've never hit it before, and I've always wanted to. I'll see if I can get. Here we go. You see that the bell and the and like the duck looking thing up there on top of that building? I have never hit either one of those things. What the hell? We hit that target and it didn't register at all. Oh you liar. I've uh I've never hit either of those targets before, and I've always wanted to. And so uh it's been kinda nagging at me for, for years, for like a decade or more. So one of these days I'll do it. And uh, one of the, the really intricate targets is that if you can hit the windows, 
on the uh, on the brick building there, if you can hit one of those windows, you get you get quite the bonus of points. I don't remember how much it is. I want to say it's it's like 2,500 or something. You get a lot for it. That's that's certainly what you get there. I just don't remember how many you get for it. We're actually having a really good first round. <laughs> Apparently it shows just how much better Mark McGuire is at hitting home runs in this game than uh, Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> Not to slight Griffey, because he's, he's the man, but um, obviously they have the, uh, the power rating for this particular andro-loaded guy uh, much, much higher. I mean, I know he was on the sauce, but you know... Oh, 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 God, I thought I had it. I thought that I had it. Damn it. Damn, 508 feet, though? I'm down with that. Oh! That's another thing that I really love about this game. It's, it doesn't have anything to do specifically with this home run derby. Oh my god, we almost had it again. Is uh, the sound effect for when you hit home runs. I love it. I just love it. It's just got kind of that... Oh, pfft. Yeah, that's definitely not the one to, to be saying anything with. <laughs> Sorry. Let's uh, let's try to go. God, those cars look awful. Hey, he had a good round. Yeah, those cars—they look like flattened pancakes out there. Look at those things. It looks like a like a cartoon anvil landed on top of them. Um, what I was saying, it just like it—it it just has like that such that that satisfactory sound of just wham. See what I'm saying? I just I love I love hearing it. It's so much better than just hearing. Like I love the I love the sound of a classic wood bat, you know, just 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 slamming the ball as much as anybody. But but that noise, oh, it's it's I'll never get I'll never get tired of it, never. Come on, hit a target. We need something bad here. We didn't really we have not had a very good round so far, and if we don't make up some ground here, Sandy Sosa is probably gonna put us away, and uh, we cannot have that right now. We've gotta. We've got him. We've got to at least at least tie him, if not take the lead on him. I, I've I've got to have some comfortable ground here. Oh 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 oh, damn. Oh sick. Okay, we hit something back there. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's something. Shit. Uh, whenever you get that viewpoint, it's almost a guarantee that you're not going to get a home run out of it. I think that I've got it a couple times before, but oh boy. Uh, but it's usually nine times out of ten. That means you're it's just a pop out Shit god. We can't be having these right now. Come on mark Go uh, go go load up another needle and shove it in your arm so we can get some home runs here, man Oh Jesus unless that hits a car or that target we're screwed. Oh, we got a chance. We've got a legit chance. Come on. Oh No Oh, We had it we totally had it. Alright, we're down to our final out here. We really gotta make a splash. And I and I mean that figuratively. And literally, actually. If we can if we can get that thing in the hot tub, I'll be down. Or just anything with a target at this point. It's not out of reach yet, my friends. 2300 points can be had. It can be certainly done, and that's gonna miss everything altogether. Oh, come on. Ugh. I thought we were going to get a little bonus for hitting that bus, but apparently did not make contact. We're close, though. We are we are getting close. If we can get a couple, if we can get like two home runs that hit targets, I think we can overtake him. Come on, hit it. Ugh. I actually take that back. I, th I thought we were at 6,800. We're definitely going to need more than two. Oh, come on. You're killing me right now. You are killing me with this. I don't think we're going to get it. I... Oh, no! Oh, damn it. Oh, I thought we had it. I thought we had it. But, oh, the target? The target? Ah! Oh, <laughs> Sammy, you dirty bastard, you. You got me. All right, well, it looks like he has evened it up at one. But, you know, before before we stop this, uh, I think we're actually going to do another round. I think that I owe that to you guys after, uh, after the first video only having just one particularly short round in there. 
So I think we'll we'll do uh, we'll do another round in the old uh, in the old medieval place there, with the series now tied at one. Oh man, I thought that we were gonna have him too. He didn't have a particularly good first round, and we we kind of jumped out on top of him real quick there. And I thought that we really were gonna gonna have a, a nice sizable lead to work with, but we didn't. So okay, let's have uh, Manny Ramirez be our our opponent, and uh, let's see who do I want. Who do I want? Hmm. Damn, John Jaha, man, that's a name for you right there. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think that I'll be, uh... Ooh, boy. Oh, boy, this is gonna be a toughie. This is gonna be a toughie. I think I'll be, uh... I think I'll be Chipper Jones this time, actually. I think I'll give him a go. Why not? Why the hell not? All right, off to the medieval castle <laughs> with a capacity of 464. Not particularly that good, but, you know, <laughs> I think back in those days, you had 464 people at a baseball field that <laughs> the game wasn't even invented yet. I think that's probably pretty good. Okay, let's see if we can do it. I really hope that Manny Ramirez doesn't just totally rape us in the buttocks because that wouldn't be any good. That would not be any good. Oh, that totally, uh, that explains the entire structure of the thing. <laughs> I could have let that just do the explaining for me instead of going through six minutes of talking about it. But you know what? I got my point across. See, look, at now we've got some other wild moving targets going on here. We got the sword and the stone back there. <laughs> That's, that, oh my god! 12,000 points? Are you kidding? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh wow, we've got our we've got our our work cut out for us today. Wow. He just took us to the freaking beat stick, man. He took us behind behind the barn and was just like, "Hey, yeah, pull your pants down. This is going to get ugly." Oh wow. Oh god, and we're just going to hit a bunch of foul balls. Oh my lord. Oh, holy casserole. This is bad news. This is this is the baddest of all news. Oh my god, three straight foul balls. Oh no. Oh wow. That is just that is all sorts of law of losing right there. Just put us away, man. Oh. Good god. What a nightmare. There we go. That's at least one in the right direction, but jeez. If I if I come back from this, I might as well just give myself the series because that that is just a nightmare of a deficit to deal with. I mean, I don't even think in the two rounds that we've done so far that we've even collectively had that many points. I don't even know if we've actually even gotten to ten thousand total yet, and it doesn't help that we're not hitting any targets. I mean, he hit thirteen targets in that round. That is just amazing. Oh boy. This is bad news. This is bad news. There we go. That's that's going to get me something. Oh boy, oh. God, can I hit something? I just I need something. It actually is probably benefiting it probably benefit um, Manny a lot more that he was a right-handed batter because I think there's more targets that are in the right field area that you can hit. Especially because you have the yeah you got that drawbridge out there you've got the jousters you got oh my god this is awful. See if I ever pick you again, Chipper, for having the name of a golf club that is designed to get air. You are not getting anything right now. That's at least going to be something. <laughs> at least we're going to break a thousand points, hopefully. Oh my god, hit something for Christ's sake! <laughs> oh, it's just a bunch of freaking doinks back there. That's all it is. Oh, weird. A foul ball. I would have never guessed that I'd hit one of those. With the way this has been going. Ugh. Come on, just one target of something. Ugh. 
I've never. I've. I've actually. I can. Re I can pretty much recall. I have never done this bad <laughs> in a round of home run derby. I've never lost by this much before. What the hell is that guy? <laughs> Looks like Macho Man Randy Savage wearing uh, like jousters gear. Well, maybe not jousting gear, but he <laughs> kind of just looks like a like a peasant or like a squire with like a billy club. Or not like a billy club, just like a big old huge ass fucking club. Oh boy. Yep, that was terrible. That was an absolutely awful round. I I don't think I've ever had a round that bad before. We just got completely obliterated, man. <laughs> Manny Ramirez just absolutely blasted us right in the gonads with that performance. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, at least we got that one out of the way fast. I, I, I mean, it's it's definitely not my favorite level in any capacity at all, and I think you guys understand why now. It's just, uh... God, he had 49 homers in there! <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> That is the most lopsided thing I've ever seen in my life. That, holy God. Yeah, drink that in right there, ladies and gentlemen. The wildest round there ever was. And it was the computer in rookie mode that pulled that off. I can't believe it. I feel so violated by that. That was just heinous. Okay, my friends, well... Now we are down two to one. Our only hope at this point is that we can force a tie and then bring on the real, um, the real sudden death uh, tiebreaker. So, fingers crossed. When we come back on the next episode, we are headed off to the living room. Until then, my friends, this is your host AMF saying thank you guys for watching. God, that was such a slaughter. I'll see you next time. Bye.